That's me suitably refreshed thanks to Pam and her husband for letting me stay. Eh? A nice breakfast of salmon and scrambled eggs. So I'm good to go. It's pissing it down. And it's going to be pissing it down all day long. That's the forecast anyway. Lagging it down. I just don't care about filming for the people anymore. I've gone through rabbit hole, haven't I? I've gone down through looking glass. Right, I better put this camera away. I don't know how much filming I can do today because it is forecast to be setting all day. And I've got a 20 miler to do. Roughly 20 miles, so I'll try and get some shots and do what I can, but priority is getting to my destination today, so head down. Let's go. Medic! Well, I've done goof today, like. My plan was to keep my feet dry for as long as I could today because I knew it was all sort of track and then I've gone and taken a scenic route up on <laughs> a bit of a nightmare really instead of coming down and round this on the quarry road I've come up and over this git hill uh, so already I've burnt myself out <laughs> and my feet are soaking because it's everything's everything's all washed out because we've had a couple of days of rain look so, there's keeping your feet dry, 101, look, it's just basically just walking down a river, so, there's feet soaking, so that's mission, the objectives book has been torn up and thrown out the window, we're just going to have to freestyle it from here on in. There's a beautiful boathouse. Look at that, man. It's just a cladding, but it's a lovely cladding, isn't it? Lovely, mate. I think I'll get a proper photo of it. Because I do like that actually. Let's have a photo. Hello? Hello? Lovely fireplace, look. What's in here? Oh, a few piss soaked mattresses. Hello? A chest. What's in the chest? I don't, I don't even open it. It don't matter. It don't matter what's in the chest. Up here. Imagine that. Let's go up here. Whoa! I don't know. Creepy, I think. Ooh. Nah. In the middle of nowhere. I'd rather be. In <laughs> I'd rather be in the tent. Uh, but. Nice, have a little respite. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, little respite, write me name it book. Uh, brutal. Oh, put you there. Put you there. Oh, that's relentless. Real talk. Real talk. Ah oh, man, so I was like, when I set off my thoughts were, I'm going to keep dry feet for today. 
It's been the wettest day so far. Easy. A lot of the, um, a lot of the track, if you, it's up and down, and it's just the track has become a river. A lot of the places, you, you're not keeping it. You're just not staying dry on a day like today. Foot wise, tops and bottoms are all right, but and oak bags are all right. But there's no filming going on, even though there's some beautiful scenery. But with the wind and the rain, you just can't be. Filming, what do you make of this place mate, it's pretty decent isn't it? An amazing shelter from the weather but it's certainly got a creepy vibe to it man. Where am I? What time is it? Two o'clock. I reckon we're about halfway. I'm not going to stay here man. But I act, there's no, there's not much filming I can do I'm afraid because it's just too wet. Right, let's put my name in the book. Uh, shall I? Sorry to rock you about. Log book. People are actually logging. Here's outdoors. Passing through. Be well. Met. Right, my feet aren't hurting too much after rest I've had. Get a pepper army out, like that. And a bar, that's for me. And dinner. That's my update, I don't think I'll, there's another boffy a bit further along, maybe I'll stop in there for another update. Other, other than that, it's just head down, sideways rain. <sighs> Once more into the breach, my friends. Once more into the breach. Tits are hurting a little bit. Right away. Oh, I've just crossed that. That was up to my nuts, mate. That was a. That was the hairiest river crossing so far. Everything today has just been soaking. But that was the real deal. Woohoo! Today was wet. And the, mid the midges are. <laughs> My luck has changed. My luck has changed at the, after the halfway point for sure. As far as wetness and midges go, it's now, it's now wet and midgy. <laughs> I'm here next to this road, look. Just next to this road. And I made it to um, Oakley Bridge, whatever it's called, sorry. So a tough day today. About 18 miles, 19 miles or something. But just walking through rivers, man. Just so many rivers and just so wet, saturated everywhere. It was raining. It, it's only just stopped raining now, thankfully, so I could chuck the old wigwam up. But everything's soaking. The camera's wet. The ground's really hard now, so I've just... I'm just pegged out with some stones, so I hope it's not too windy tonight. Otherwise I'll get found out, but it's just, it's just nice to stop. I went to the, um, the uh, is it the Oakley Bridge Hotel? Because I heard that they do, they have a bothy there, or bothy rooms or something. And the woman there could not have been more rude and dismissive. Like, it's like I'd just fallen off the bottom of someone's shoe. Just because I had my hiking gear on me. Look where we are, hiking country. So I came up round and I've just... It's getting a bit peppered by midges. Come here, a train. Um, my feet are tired, so... It's just any... I'm just, just making do with it, isn't it? That's where we are now. There's not been much filming of scenery or anything today. Oh, looking forward to getting lied down. And this has never been so... <laughs> Because I'm thirsty and I want the sugar and the... Uh, she's getting a bit dented, look. Harvey Dent. This is going to be the most glorious 
beer that I've ever had. I'm ready for, for it to be that as well. This is why I'm doing it, mate. This is it. I'm keeping the face. And this kind of... Oh, I'm also getting annihilated by midges. This kind of face is going to be the nicest can I've ever had, if I make it. Keeping the face. Right, let's get in wigwam before midges eat us alive. So I brought two of these... Um, what are they? 500? Two gas cans. And I used... I'd got to Ullapool, which I'd had in my head as the halfway point. It's a little over halfway. And I'd only used half a gas canister, so ditched the other half one, left it in the B&B and just carried on with the full one so it's it's a little bit of weight saving and and a little bit of space saving as well you're fogging up because I'm cooking my dinner I'm just not going to land on that is it Lando Calrissian what? Lando Calrissian though isn't it? there sort of Sort of see me, can't you? <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Never mind that lady in the hotel. She was a bit of a crank. She was a crank, mate. She can't dampen these spirits. Let's get into it, mate. What we've got here. It's chicken korma with rice. Eight, eight quid. Expedition foods. Smells banging. Looks like sick. Looks like baby sick. Which is good. Don't matter because you can't see it because focus doesn't work, does it? Let's have a go on her. Oh, aye. That's... Actually... Taste the spices, actually. It's quite spicy. Like in a hot way. Not massively, but for a korma. That's delicious. There's some really... Sketchy river crossing. Malarkey going on and... I thought, oh, this would be cool. It'd be cool just to film it, just in case I stacked it or whatever. Well, just to show you, it was uh, it was pretty wild. Right, woke up in Ullapool this morning, bit of breakfast and away. And today I was planning on staying dry. That was my plan, my feet dry, but no such luck. I came out here, you go onto this path towards the quarry and I... I messed up, got here and there was a sign saying uh, traffic only, so I thought, oh, I'll have to come in here. And that was my mistake. I came in here on this path and you have to go up to the top of these peaks. So instead of just going round and along, I ended up coming in here, doing a really, you know, a decent climb up. And all these paths had just become rivers. Absolutely sodden I was by the time I got out of here. Over the bridge. The rivers were running so fast, all this path, for the majority of it anyway, was just water. It's nice, there's a couple of real nice camping spots along here. Um, just head down, sideways raining face, so I couldn't do much filming. I just got my head down and it's, um, yeah, it was just tracks all the way along here. All the way along, there was loads of bits where there was just rivers flowing th that way across the track, so it's... If you were trying not to get wet feet, good luck. I was just wading through it by the end, I just didn't care. All the way up here to this boffy. Look, I had a quick look in the boffy. That's pretty cool. So along from the along here, all these little tributaries were just rushing across the, the path. But I just waded through it because my feet were already soaking. This was a proper river crossing along here somewhere. Up to my nuts. On my nut. Um yeah, that was it. That was the real deal. That one kept going past this schoolhouse bothy, which is quite nice, through the woodland uh, to Oakle Bridge. I would have even had something to eat at pub, but she she's just very dismissive and rude. 
and I just got up and around here and I think I'm about here mm, yeah I'm there done the side of this track and on we go morning glampers look at these <laughs> pretty much rotten man luckily I rotated and I put these dry ones on which means nothing because my shoes are soaking wet so they're going to be my feet are going to be soaking wet <clears throat> every day wet feet I've dried down the inside of this with my sponge and rinsed it out so that's okay there's quite a bit of condensation but I, I find it just sticks to the to the tent doesn't drop on me or out so I can just get up wipe it down square away my gear and on we go day <clears throat> day 11 of hiking day 11 <laughs> I don't even know I'm aiming to get done in like four four days four or five days so I think I'll do this day I'm gonna do another big day today and a big day tomorrow so after today when I camp up I'm look at my maps and then I can start to I can start to have an eye on uh, home and getting home and seeing people and um, just oh, all the creature comforts that you become accustomed to and take for granted can't wait but at the beginning bits and it, up until now I just I, I don't really think about that because it can make you soft it can make you like pine for it a little bit much so we dig deep um, just deal with the deal with the day in, just deal with the day in front of me so get to me place where I need to be have a good day's hiking and keep fit so make sure we get to the finish line that's the priority but I reckon after tonight's camp I'm gonna dare to dream <laughs> dare to dream and then maybe start looking forward to it but for now also it's good, it's good that it didn't it wasn't windy because this <laughs> it's not very it's not the best setup ever so it's stones holding it together let's get packed up and hit the road the littlest hobo tell you what midge is here though You're getting me i've been lucky with them right see you later not the best campsite but served its purpose and as transient as they all are i love it <coughs> oh man so what time is it always good to take a time check because i don't i'm not really working in distance I'm working with time really half eight fair enough half eight setting off so that's quite a late one because everything was so wet i just wanted to you know, like sponge the tent down properly and make sure everything was just neatly packed away so wet stuff doesn't get other dry stuff wet and away we go the so the first i mean my legs are in bits to be fair when you first set off legs are I should do some stretches really yeah feet the bliss wet you know wet blisters are that hurts an ankle just ankles everywhere really you know, before I was saying about that character going like that with all different colours do, 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 health points and that legs are starting to go they're amber all from waist down at amber <laughs> uh, but the noggin is green my noggin is green today I feel good you know I felt I mean I, I'm feeling good every day really yesterday was a it's just hard isn't it sometimes like the rain yesterday was the hard bit sideways rain and it's just because you can't proper get into your flow you know it just takes away your thoughts it takes away these moments where I can just you know get camera out and just be like oh look at this and I'll take me photos because I've you know it's a half decent camera this so I like to take a lot of photography as well besides videography and so it just kills that little hobby which is a nice little thing to do to pass the time on your big walks is just to stop and appreciate it because you can't stop and appreciate it because you get your face is getting splattered 
but in and of itself it is an adventure like that's the beauty in it of Scotland you never it's not always going to be the same unless it's rain every day which you could get but and especially over two or three weeks you're going to get everything so it was although it was hard it was nice to have it and nice to get through it and that river crossing was exciting it's a shame I couldn't bring you that one and show you it but it was exciting it was it was deep <laughs> It was deep. And I'm looking down, I've got waterproof trousers on, but I'm up to me nuts in the river, like what's the point? First half a mile to a mile is a bit, walking a bit gingerly. You know, you've got to like work out the knots or the, the bits of pain, you know. I don't know, you just get used to pain. So every morning, the last few days, I've just been, I've put plasters where they need to be on my feet or my compedes on. To cover my hot spots and blisters whatever and then double drop a couple of ibuprofen to keep any swelling down and just for that bit of pain for this bit of pain like in the morning it helps uh, until you get into your groove and then you can just start plowing on so the forecast anyway today is going to be we're going to have rain on and off but then i think it's going to be dry. It's forecast to be dry tomorrow all day and the following day. So we could end up just being dry all the way to ends, which would be chef's kiss. What's that blue thing? A bit of blue. Yee -hee -hee. I mean, not so blue, but, but I'll take that, mate. I'll check it, mate. Madness that like. Madness I tell you. Well these lads think that I'm coming to feed them look but I'm not. I just want to wait eight minutes for an expedition mail lads. Take care, see you later. Some healthy looking heifers there. Not much to report, I've just got camera out to do a little film of the of the cows. There's one in there, look, on his own. Oh, there's a couple in there. Are oh, they birthing, are they? Uh, there's nothing much going on. I've just passed through this farm. Uh, but it's all this. And this. It doesn't really change much. Oh, it's still pleasant pleasant to be out and about in it and you know it's perfect hiking conditions touch wood it's uh, it's nice it's chilly enough so that you you can get a bit of a so you're not going to sweat and it's not raining <laughs> that's the main thing for me at the moment Dr. Stephen Marsh Smith, rest in peace. Lovely little dry stone seating area. This must have been his favourite fishing peg. Little seat there. Lovely salmon river. Tell you what, mate, you've, you've picked a good one. You've picked a good one. Clear drinking water now. I like just setting off and saying, right, we'll get a few miles or a few hours. I'm not really looking at stuff so much in miles and kilometers it's more in time i'm doing 
how, many, how much time have I spent traveling because in miles it's not really a good indication of how hard you've worked or whatever because you know there's the elevation there's the the state of the ground there's all sorts of things that come into play like a couple of days ago when I was coming over this boggy bit it took so long I kept drop, you know up to me <laughs> up to me junk in, in bogs every couple of minutes and like slipping over and having to plot my route you know it's <clears throat> that takes a long time but you're not covering much distance whereas now this morning on this track I'm able to uh, I'm able to make up some ta some miles but I'm just I'm just going off time so I'm just setting myself a scheduled time like you like you would at work I'm getting up ready for work I'm at work now and then we'll figure when I'll clock off so it's 20 past 11 I'm gonna keep going until the end of these trees until it cuts off it cuts we, we go up into the moorlands and into the mountains and so before we get there when I get to the end of here I've got my water I'm gonna have a coffee and one of my oat bars as a little reward and them little things just keep you going put a little spring in your step <laughs> so it's good instead of having breakfast on the morning and everything you know all your water filtered and everything and then you're done I like to walk and have something to look forward to mid-morning fill my water up have a little drink that's always nice I'm waffling like waffle chops Right, the track has given way to this is my new, that's my new path, but I was just, I thought I'd stand a while because this looks like the sort of place you'd see a, a salmon leap. It's mesmerising just watching it, it's quite, it's quite hypnotic. Anyway, a wonderful grassy area, which would have been meant to camp at. It was too far for me to push onto, but wonderful to sit uh, to pitch a tent, nice and flat, and a nice place just to stop. I'm gonna make a brew and have one of my energy bars for my dinner, and call this half time. Not a bad place to have your bait, mate, just like river. The hills are alive. <laughs> With the sound of music, not the hills that have eyes. Speaking of the hills have eyes, there is a little shed up there, look. It's very the hills have eyes -y. Who knows if we're making good time. <laughs> I don't like to be under the constraints of time when I'm doing things like this anyway. You know what I mean? Like people like Oh, when are you going to be finished? I don't know, mate. Don't know. I might find a nice place that is, and I might want to stop early and camp, or I might get caught in bad weather. I just don't know. And it, putting these parameters on yourself, you're just destined to fail, or at least not enjoy your experience as much because you you've got that goal in mind. You know, like oh, I've got to get there by that time, got to, and it can ruin your enjoyment of it. I understand that we have to have times and stuff but for me sometimes I'm waffling on because half the time I'll start talking about summer and then halfway through I'm like actually I don't really I don't even know if I think that myself now <laughs> I've been out here too long <laughs> even went down a hill to come up a hill that is Optimism, optimistic, Ugh. optimistic, cut to me in a couple of days, just, whoa, why did I keep going back and forward? Uh, how could you not though? 
beautiful scenery down here. Beautiful. Saying goodbye to the forest and the lowlands and off back up into the mountains and uh, back on with river crossings. Oh. Don't mind it. Medic! Okay, this for a cauldron. I think I'm going up here and I'm working my way around this ridge and then down this other side. Give it till about half six and if I'm not where I want to be, I'll look for a campsite, camp spot. But this is going to be a bit of an incline now by the looks of things. I've been steadily coming up all the way up this valley and you can tell because there's snow just here as well. And temperatures dropped quite a bit. Right, I've had to get my actual map out and have a look because there is no, there's no path. I've just got to make my own way over this thing. I don't even need to take a bearing because you can just see where that dip is there. That's going to be where I get over. That's my best chance of getting over. So I've just got to make my way up here. That should be fun. Look at that, that's just a little bit of it, I've made my way, made my way down through, up all that, <laughs> I've still got to get over the top of this and there's no path. <laughs> Woo hey. Oh man, it makes you want to just get naked, doesn't it, and do a little dance. I ain't got time for that before you ask. Stunning. Whew. Right, let's not celebrate and be, let's not get too happy. I've still got to get over here. And there's no path and it's treacherous. We bog stones, holes, the lot. Uh, but I just had to look back and be like, wow. A long way today. This is the source of that which feeds into that main river which feeds into the big salmon river that we passed today look and this is a natural highland spring and it's an honour. Look at it. I'm gonna get in it. Not in it but I'm gonna drink from it for sure. <laughs> That is the truth, isn't it? <sighs> yes, it does not get any fresher than that. In fact, I'm going to ditch my other bottle of water and fill it up there. <sighs> Delicious. We'll ditch that bog water that we filtered out at Woods in favour of some Spring water. What's that? Oh, it's a little mini frog, please. Come here, boy. 
You're all right, mate. I got you. I got you, mate. Look at this lad here. Oh. <laughs> You're ready because he's a small lad. I'll go down here so you don't fall too far. Oh. There he is. You're all right, mate. <laughs> right, I'll move you down here because I might stand on you and I don't want to medic you. See you later, brother. Goodbye. Kermit. I think I'm going to go over into the next valley. And if it, if the wind is coming up that valley, I'll come back in here. Because it's a lovely place. But hopefully this is mirrored on the other side as it, as it goes down into the valley. And I can get maybe another hour's hiking. And what's also interesting is this. It's disappearing off, look. <laughs> Just disappearing off underground there. See you later. And there you can hear it under the ground, listen. Oh. So there's a lot going on under the ground and that's why, that's why you often get these little holes you'll just be walking along and uh, yeah, just a hole that'll go down like, God knows how deep. Some of them have enveloped my whole walking pole. Oh, let's chill her in the natural spring. Whoa, there's a hole oh, there, look. I nearly lost it. <gasps> there's a hole that goes under. Oh my goodness. We nearly lost, we nearly lost faith. We nearly lost faith. Uh, there you go, chilled in a Highland spring. <laughs> oh, are you up, mate? <laughs> That's commitment, mate! Isn't it? That's commitment. Uh, it is chilly. On the old foot. Look at that. And it's quarter past six. I hope you're happy. That is going extra mile, that, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, cold, but ah, oh, man. If I was camping around here, I'd swim in this puddle because, oh, mate, it's, it's chilly. Like when you've been in, when you've been back and forth at camera. This is when you want to fall over in it for, for you a lot. It gets quite deep <laughs> for a puddle. Put you up in, above my head so you can be the first to see it. Look, ah, what we got? Ah. Yeah, it just looks like a gradual sort of a way down, doesn't it? I bet it can be a right wind tunnel in between these two these two mountains, like in this mountain pass. Hopefully there'll be somewhere down here to set up camp because well, it's quarter past six now, but the latter part, just recently, in the last last couple of hours, the sun's come out and... It's given me a new lease of life, sort of heading into the sun. It's nice to feel it on my face. Uh, and so, I think I'll keep going. It's 20 past six, we'll keep going till about seven and then set up, unless I come past, unless, unless I go past somewhere that's perfect, perfect digs. In fact, oh look at all them deer mate, look, I didn't even see you there lads. Lasses, girls. They're so camouflaged, just walking past them all. Oh, that's good to see you. Good to see you. Anyway, yeah, I can't remember what I was saying. Something about if I find a better place, like if I find a place that's amazing, I'll stop. Otherwise, 
Let's crack on. Let's do another hour. Big patch of snow down there. And there's a bit of a, it's a, well, if you slip, if you slip on here, it's pretty much medic. <laughs> but it's nice to see a path. Oh, as soon as he says it, it just disappears. Look, classic. That's a classic. Goodbye path, short lived. Look at this for a view, man. Coming off there. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is stunning, man. Oh, it's majestic. Are you having it? Are you having that? Oh, no. You have to, don't you? You have to be having it. How can you not? Stunning. Snow there. Some deer, of course. Medic! It's half past eight. It's a bit wet, but everywhere's wet down here. Oh, I might, I might find a plunge pool and have a little dip. Oof, bit windy. I'll uh, cinch it down a little bit. You might be thinking, because the wind's running down here, why have I put it broadside? Because if I'd have put it that way, the wind would have gone over the top there. I've done it like this so that I can use the other side to cook and have a bit of shelter the porch area. I'll just cinch it all down and make sure it's tight. Might even deploy the delta pegs if the wind picks up. This horse chestnut that I've had in my boob bag for the last few days, I'm going to use it now. Um, it's a natural soap, so I'm just going to give myself a good old wash. This looks deep enough. But I'll show you how, make it, how it becomes soap and then uh, I'm gonna have a wash up. You probably won't be. A, you probably won't want to watch that. I'll just get one. I'll just show you a little bit. It'll matter. And then you can all that there. That's good gear. That's so. That's bushcraft soap. You wet it a little bit, rub it between your hands, let it go. It becomes oh, quite nice, nice and fresh. And that's a good soap, that. Oh. That is fresh, mate. When a hero comes along with the strength to carry on, uh, just had me worry. Wind's picking up. Nearly there, kid. Few more days, <laughs> and you'll be mine. Right, let's have a little look at Matthew McConaughey. Uh, get me a little opinel out. The wind's picking up. Right, so I woke up here at the side of the road, and off we went. We've actually done 12 mile, 12 hours today, but it was tough going at the end. Anyway, so you come through this wood. It's all pretty samey samey with track, so so it was nice to hit this farm and see all heifers. Continue on. Um. 
continuing up here. There's some lovely uh, spots actually, because this is a salmon fishing river, so there's like little huts with little benches where people come and probably pay a lot of money to do some salmon fishing. I didn't go this way, I went straight along here. Carried on going, the track gives way to, it's like a single off-roady kind of bit. All the way up here, I'd marked here for a camp spot. Um, it's, a, it's a nice place there, but carry on. Carried on going. Oh uh, yeah, then I cut up here and joined onto this path. Up past these houses and the and and the lodge there. And up out of the woods. And this is where it splits into two. You can go right or left obviously. Now I've gone left here. Um, and it is, you, you lose the path here, it's a very boggy, uh, lots of stones, it just takes a long time, a long time, ignore all my scribblings, where am I, and oh yeah, you get to, I got to here, and then I went up here a little bit, and I was like, hold on a minute, came back, this, all this up here, there's, there is no real path, so you just got to off-road it. It's pretty crazy. I found a lovely little, um, is it on map? Spring up here. Maybe that's it. Kept going through here. Some lovely scenery. It was really beautiful, just, and the sun was out. Really nice. And again, it was a bit pathless. Uh, on and off with the path. And where am I now? I've got down here. I've done. A, I've done actually quite far because I'm not going into this town here or whatever it is here. I'm off up here. So I stopped. I'm about as we are there. There I am. Not a bad day today. Right. Thanks for watching. If you want to be notified when the next episode's up, just hit subscribe and the little bell downstairs somewhere around here, and I'll see you on the next one. But I will show you this before you go. Let's have a quick look. Oh. Not bad.